Hi guys, it's Mark from The Way Back and I'm here on Dunn Street Farm campsite where I quite often come in my VW camper van to relax, let Blue run around a bit and also to work on the books because it's a nice quiet campsite. It's a bit blustery today so hopefully you can hear me okay. But I really like this place and I just wanted to do this quick video because in case <laughs> if you haven't noticed we've got this number plate and I've put this um, sticker on the back of the van as well. I just wanted to talk about this a little bit. Let's start with the number plate. So J555TWB. I think the TWB bit speaks for itself. Um, but you may be wondering about the J555. So if we go back in time, I've actually had, uh, those of you that know me know that I've had quite a few camper vans and motorhomes and I've even done my own self builds as well. And it's something I just have a real passion for. I love the freedom. I love the fact, especially as a writer, that it gives me somewhere uh, like my own little bubble really that I can just sit in and relax and really focus in on, on the, the work that I'm doing in it, and it means I can have effectively take my office with me because you know I travel quite a lot um, seeing people around the country and basically just I, I have a real love of <laughs> the great outdoors and especially with a collie dog so J555 okay my first ever camper van was actually called Jess. And then I had my white self-build uh, camper van motorhome, and that one was called Jess. But I didn't really tell anyone this, so it was a bit of a, a personal thing. I'm I guess I'm traditional, I like to name my, my vehicles. So when I got this one, I was kind of trying to think of a name, and the first name that came to me was Betty. Cause, but I was driving up to Scotland to take my mum to see a, a friend she hadn't seen in literally about 54, 55 years. And on the way up, we're, we're having this conversation and I, I said, um, I'm thinking of naming the van and do any names spring to mind? But, I, but I've kind of got Betty in my mind at the moment. And mum out of nowhere said, nope, she's a Jess. And I thought that's strange because I've never mentioned the name Jess in terms of my vans to anyone really. So I thought well, that's interesting because that's always been the name. And it sat right with me as well. And long story short, I know she was guided to that name and there's a reason. It's double fold really. Even when I got my first camper van and I was a young guy, um, I was guided to the name Jess. And it makes sense because it's Jesus. So if you take the you out, of the equation, if you take yourself out of the equation, Jesus is Jess, J-E-S-S. -S. And it, it was kind of like a way of saying the, I guess it's a metaphor, if you like, for the journey. So this vehicle, this camper van, the first one, the second one, this one, are a means to get out there, a means to enjoy the world around you, but also to meet people. To be part of a, of a community as well because when you have a certainly when you have a vw you, you suddenly <laughs> are part of a community and there's a lot of the qualities of what jesus was about in that and i guess i was guided i've always been a spiritual person not religious but spiritual and i've always respected what jesus stood for and indeed what he still stands for so i believe that in truth that was the reason why i i first came up with the name jess and why my mum without knowing anything instantly and she's extremely psychic she's extremely sensitive to these things came out with the name jess so jess it is so if you were to look at this number plate the the shape of the five could almost be an e so it spells jess but there's more to it because the way back the name the the reason for the way back is to bring back spiritual teachings and there is no greater spiritual teacher than Jesus and the way was what Jesus taught and so another way of interpreting this number plate is it's Jesus is the way back okay which is wonderful so that's why it's J555 now if you take the fives actually look like an S if you were to take the word Jesus is and remove all of the vowels then you'd have J S S S. So this is Jesus is the way back, and that's the real reason for this number plate. But it's also Jess. So it's it's wonderful, and you know you might think, well, it's a bit bit, bit flash, 
having a, a personalised number plate. In the, in the grand scheme of things, first of all, it, it was my own money. It hasn't come out of the way back or anything like that. You know why I did it? It's not to show off. It's to remind me. Every time I look at that, it reminds me that I'm blessed, that the things that I have in life that are good, that I can enjoy, that help me to work on the book or to go and visit people or just to meet with friends. I'm going to have friends coming down soon and they're going to join me in this wonderful campsite. I'm blessed to be able to do these things, you know. And so every time I look at this number plate, it reminds me that behind all that is good is God and that Jesus represents God. Jesus is the, I said it, he's the greatest spiritual teacher because he was the one that came and taught people the truth about God, that God is loving, that God is the source of all that is good, including the spiritual light. And so it, this is like a, a token, a, a reminder, an emblem of the truth behind all that is good for me personally. And hello, you <laughs> Hello, talking of all that is good. There's blue. Um, I think it's quite honest and humbling to present to the world what your beliefs are and to not hide in anonymity and not hide in secrecy. But by presenting this on the back of my vehicle, it means that I'm being public about what it is that I believe in, what it is that I represent. I represent the way back. I'm the the co-founder of the way back but the way back doesn't belong to me it belongs to the bigger picture and so by having this on the back of my vehicle it, it it kind of makes it almost like i'm i'm reminded you are an ambassador going out into the world everyone who sees this vehicle will wonder well what what's this <laughs> what's this big sticker all about what's the way back which might hopefully spark interest in people and maybe some people will be guided to look at the website and it will resonate with them and if that works for one person then this was worthwhile for me it's kind of like saying I'm I'm comfortable and I, I have been for a long time I've done these videos I've put videos on YouTube and I, I talk about subjects that I think a lot of people are scared to talk about from a spiritual point of view you know mentioning God without being religious so that it actually starts to make the truth the biggest picture accessible to a much wider audience because as you know the way back is not about religion it's about discovering the truth and the greatest truth is God so I'm living my truth and I'm very comfortable and very honored and privileged I believe to be able to have this life that allows me to dedicate my time to writing to teaching to helping people to working with people and to find myself in these beautiful environments where I can enjoy the peace in life while working for what I believe is a, a bigger picture. And so I want to introduce you to Jess, the, the VW. So if you're, um, if you're a geek and you want to know these things, she's a 2018 2 litre um, VW 6, T6.1 with a pop top awning and she's uh, kitted out by a, a company called Camper King. Um, wonderful, really nice van to drive and to camp up in. And if you ever see me out and about and you want to say hello, come over, chat a bit about spirituality or just chat about life, then now you know. <laughs> uh, it should be easy to spot this one. So anyway, wherever you are right now, whatever adventure, whatever journey you're on, God bless you and peace be with you.